What is up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be talking about some tricks, some of the tricks that I love the most and I use on the trails because tricks are super important. I think in mountain biking it can really help you keep the flow and just get over obstacles and just make trails faster. I use some of these all the time. So I'm going to be showing you what they are, where to use them and why we use them. So let's get to some riding. So the first trick I'm going to talk to you about is the bunny hop. Bunny hop is super useful. It's good at getting through like obstacles and it can even get you to do some better lines. So this section is a good example of it. So what you hopefully can see from the camera is there's kind of like a straight through line, but then there's also the right hand line. Now, when you're coming down here, a lot of people will just go for the straight through line. One of the issues you've got, got some roots, got some stumps in the way. So as we talk about, we've got to thread the needle. So right, let me tell you exactly what I mean about the bunny hop, how it's super useful. So we've got, I say, this section here and it's very tight. You've got the stump here. So as you can see, people have been brushing their pedals along here. And if you're going pretty fast and hitting your pedal, you know that's just gonna send you off. Then behind me again, another stump. So you've got to thread your bike in between these two stumps. Not the easiest when you've got the wide pedals. Then we've got roots here, very off camber roots, both sides. So again, they're gonna to wanna to kind of slip your bike out to the side. So it is pretty tough. So what I would say that I do is to start from back here, bunny hop right over, land in the flat bit there, and then you can go away in your trail, keeping the flow, keeping the speed, and it just feels so much smoother. Right, so we're gonna cruise into this one. Then we'll get to the feature. I'm gonna hit a nice bunny hop and clear the route. There we go. Kept the speed the whole time. So there's a good example, the bunny hop. As you can see, I just bunny hopped right from the start onto this bottom bit and just, yeah, kept the speed. It's just great to look out for those little things you can bunny hop off. And yeah, it just keeps the speed rather than having to wiggle your way through the middle. I just keep the speed going and away I am down the trail. Right, so we're going to get Dad to do his line through the middle and you're going to see what a lot of people would do, which is just ride it as you see it. And then we're going to compare it to my bunny hop and I'm going to show you how effective it is. So it's literally just watching and a few people have been passing this trail as we've been filming this. And literally just a minute ago, someone hit this route, hit the pedal, big fud and it just chucks your bike. And as you can see, like look, just loads of people are doing it. So bunny hop is the way forward. Trick number two, we've got jumping. Now you may think it's not really that needed, but I'd say it is, if you can do it, it definitely helps. Cause this trail we've got here is a flow trail and it's got some jumps on it. Now the jumps are very much the main part of the trail. Like they're in the, in the main line. So if you're coming over this bit and avoiding them, you're gonna be riding through rocks. You've got to get yourself back over. So it does really help the flow if you can do the jumps. And they are super fun as well, because we basically, we've got a little double here, that's super fun. And then we come up to this jump, and this is great, because you can go as far as you want. It's got a slight angle on it, so you can whip as well if you want, straight into a berm, keep your flow, and they look super cool just like this. They drop in. Jumps, they are really good fun. Like I say, keep the speed, keep the flow, and they just look really cool, so. And this one was better that time. I felt like I kind of got the back wheel in a bit more on the whip, so it didn't sound too bad. But yeah, I like it. Really good, smooth, flowy jumps. They're great fun. Oh yeah, right, I'll see you in a bit. Ooh. Stay on the bike. That was a bit mental, wasn't it? Trick number three, we have the track stand. Now I actually find this so useful. I do use it a lot. So this section, we've got it ends out on a rollout. So the rollout, start this section, 
very steep and it does sort of wash away. So it is quite close to your bottom bracket and the trail actually comes around quite a steep corner. So this sort of appears out of nowhere. So what's really good is right at the top, just do a little track stand, get yourself ready, get yourself with your pedals level. And then when you're ready, drop in and ride away. It's really important because if you just come flying into this, potentially you could just end up in these bushes, which no one wants. Trick number four. So this one, I actually find this really fun. It's actually really good. So it's the endo or a little endo turn. So we've got this corner coming down here and you can see it's basically just a 90 degree angle. You've got roots, you've got all kinds of mess into a straight, straight down. So what we would probably normally do before when you're riding, you're gonna ride over these bumpy roots. You're gonna be at this angle and you're gonna turn straight into a steep rooty downhill. So what I like to do, pull the front brake, do an endo, get that rear wheel down, point yourself straight, down you go, it looks cool and it's so smooth. And it, it, like I say, it does look impressive, I think, personally. You ready? Fifth and the final trick, it has no purpose really on the trail, I will be honest, but it looks so cool in the fire track and it's more just to impress your friends and I do quite enjoy the look of it. It's the Endo 180 Tofeki, like this. Are you ready? Keep on recording, yeah? <laughs> Looks sick, didn't it? That is the end of today's video. So five tricks that I use a lot all the time, to be honest. Um, Four of them that you can use on the trail, one as a little bonus, but hopefully you enjoyed them all and let me know what you think of them. And if there's any tricks that you do yourself that you find are so useful on the trail as well, please let me know and I'll hopefully do some more of these videos. But as always, make sure to like, subscribe and I'll see you next week for another ride.